What is up everybody? This is Random Sparks and we are back in Farming Simulator 15. Where we left off, we were uh, we were doing some of this. Uh, we we're cutting down some trees, clearing them up. Um, I started putting some of them into the wood chipper. It looks like we have some leaves sticking around here. Oh, that might... Uh, maybe we'll find a root of it somewhere. Oh, there it is. I can see it, but I can't get to it. Got it. Huh. Awesome. So anyways, um, I think I did enough wood chipping as I want to do. These are just a pain in the butt to get in there. I did uh, the big pieces, the big logs, and got those uh, into the wood chipper. So we have a about one and a half trailer full. Uh, we had one hauled in, and then we have, uh, okay, maybe not one and a half, but uh, we have 31% in here. So this is our second trailer full of it. So, um... And we have some more leaves over here, but the rest of these we're just going to push into a pile somewhere eventually. Uh, I need to find a wood chipper mod that I can just that works a little better because I know there's one out there, I just haven't downloaded it yet. Um, you don't have to use an arm to get them into anything, it just hooks up to a PTO or a three point and a PTO, so it looks a little. <laughs> excuse me literally hook on right here and uh, it's it's fixed so you run it right into the uh, limbs here and it'll blow out the wood chips and that's that's pretty awesome it makes things way easier um, but right now before you know we get that because I don't have it right now we're gonna be pushing these limbs for the moment it's not too exciting stuff but uh, it's something that needs to get done See, I'm basically just going this way with it, and you know what, if we lose some along the way, we lose some. Obviously, I'm not going to deal with it if we lose that many. So I've got to take it kind of slow, otherwise, yeah, you will be <laughs> ending up driving over them. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, let's see. Is there anything else I got done? Oh, I did uh, make some edits to the map just a little bit. I uh, actually only made one. And that was editing the texture of the uh, pig and beef building. So before they were that ugly brick color and now uh, their texture. And now they are the white metal, just like the rest of our farm. So I think that looks pretty good. Finally all matching in color for the most part. some more leaves hanging around there, don't we? Look awesome there. And yeah, like I said, this won't be the most exciting stuff, but it's something I want to get done. And <clears throat> It's a different side of the uh, tree trimming process or cutting process that I wanted to get into my recordings and uh, into onto YouTube because it is something different. And you probably don't see too much of it. At least I, I haven't seen any, anyways. Um, but then again, I don't watch too much YouTube. Um, there's a, really only a couple of people that I watch. So well, I could definitely stand to broaden my horizons in that aspect. I mean, I, I should only do so if I expect people to be watching mine. I should return the favor. And you know, I, I kind of do. I try to look out for other YouTubers that I find interesting. Okay, we got a nice pile here, and we are going to lose it. And we're going to lose some of this anyways, aren't we? Sure looks like it. Oh, and I kind of messed up. Um, so this 1455 mod we got here, um, yeah, we, we lost our wheels to it, so for whatever reason, they packed it, they packed the wheels in a separate uh, zip folder. I don't know how that works, but uh, I was going through deleting mods I didn't think I need, and I was like, oh, these are probably just duels for this tractor, I don't know. So I deleted them, and this is the result, but I'm, I was considering getting rid of this tractor anyways. Um, this would be the perfect opportunity to do that. To do that. Um, as you can see, it's kind of just floating around right now, but it's still drivable. You know, that's kind of the weird thing about uh, these tractors without wheels. They, they still act like they have wheels, and I guess... Technically, they do, but they don't. It's weird. I don't know. So yeah, 
just going to push these over here. Try not to get them into the water because that'll be a pain in the butt if I ever try to get them out. Because, yeah, if you remember, those uh, water planes are solid there. So you can literally, literally just, uh, excuse me, I just need to slow down here. Uh, you can just drive right over them, which is, it's nice if you're running course play and something messes up. But at the same time, if you wanted to push something into the water, yeah, I really can't do that. Not that I necessarily want to do that, but that'd be an option for getting rid of these uh, branches here. I don't know, it's just pushing them into a pile for right now isn't a big deal, so might as well just do it. I can, if I want to wood chip them later, I can wood chip them later. They're in a easy, easily accessible pile, kind of out of the way of what we're doing here in the field. Hopefully, anyways, I can't imagine I'll be doing much around just this middle portion here. On my dip locks. Perhaps. I mean, we had a little slippage there, but that's just because it was hopping over a tree branch, of course. Okay, come on. Push those back. There we go. That'll do for now, right there, anyways. We still have that other pile we have to move on the other grass patch. Left here. Um, I also did mess around with different textures, uh, editing some some of those on the couple of Peterbilt mods that are out. Uh, one of them, I think, is I think the ones we have right now are 379s. Uh, if it'll load here, they should be 379s if I remember correctly. Yep, they are 379s. So I messed around with a little texture on there. I kind of want to mess around with that mod a little more try to get it that more menacing look. Um, I think with the textures I have right now, it look, kind of looks like the tractor should be, or the truck should be a little bit lower, like sitting lower. Um, so I might try to figure out how to do that. I'm sure it's not too complicated. But um, if I do have any issues, i um, just going to ask around and maybe someone will know how to do it. And I need to switch to reverse. That's what I need to do. Okay. And then, let's see, there's also the Peterbilt 388 mod. And the one that I downloaded, I don't know if it's the same for all the versions that are out there, if there even are multiple versions out there. But I downloaded uh, one, and uh, the field of view was just... It seemed a little off, like, compared to stock anyways. I, I'm sure they did that intentionally, just maybe for some screenshot purposes, because I messed around with the camera mod for out of out of cab field of view for some of the screenshots I do. Um, so I'm sure it's just for aesthetic purposes. But anyways, I fixed that or readjusted it to my liking and I messed around with the textures and uh, I made a random farms 388 mod. Oh, I, did, I didn't make the mod. 388 textures. It's pretty close to the default ones. I switched around some colors and added the logo and I added a little quote to it. It says, uh, know your farmer, know your food. I thought that was, I thought that was a pretty good quote to put on there. And uh, I also put the Random Farms logo. I think I might have just said that actually, but just to reiterate, yeah, I did put on the Random Farms logo, which we have on the side of our harvest machinery and on some signs outside our main bin site. See what else did I do to it? <clears throat> oh yeah, I also had uh, my hometown. I guess technically it's not my hometown, but it's where I went to high school. My my hometown is actually the neighboring town, so I put that on there and then put that along with uh, the state, so Iowa. So I thought that was pretty cool because you know you see those trucks going around sometimes and they'll have the, the their uh, home location and whatnot have the farm logo so I thought I'd try that and yeah the 388, 388 is actually a sleeper cab so it's a little bit bigger quite a bit bigger than these uh, 379s I run 
not only visually, but it's also a little more powerful, if I understand that correctly. At least I think it is. Don't quote me on that. If anybody knows, <laughs> just leave that in the comments. That's something I'm kind of curious about. Okay, and let's see, I've been messing around with the map just a little bit. Like I said, I did the textures. I want to um, do a little, I want to do some changing on our third bin site. And also, I found some grain bin fans that I want to install on all of our grain bins. So I thought that'd be a pretty cool little addition. <clears throat> and I actually think that was from Joe Lindbergh's uh, Wind Chaser map. Unfortunately, yeah, it was, I only have the uh, leaked one, which, you know, that's, that's what I have to use. Obviously, I'm not advertising it as something you should download because he did not release it himself, and that's yeah, no, that's no good when stuff like that happens. But you know what? Either way, I'm using my resources, I guess, and as long as I don't claim this crap as my own, okay, I shouldn't say crap because it's actually pretty good crap. <laughs> Seriously, detailed stuff. I don't know if he did all the texture edits on him, but <clears throat> some of the stuff on his map it just makes it look like it's been <laughs> worn down, and I think that's really pretty cool of him. Okay, we're, we're not being very efficient here. We only have one uh, little log there. Okay. It's mostly just the little ones left here, I think, just a few laying around. Oh no, we have a we have a somewhat bigger pile here. So let's get that before we move on to the next pile of them, or the next uh, grass area, circle, whatever you want to call it. Gotta be careful there. Let's mess around a little bit in cab. It'll be a little harder to see what we're doing. Actually, yeah, I should probably stay out outside somewhat so I can see what I'm doing a little better. And for whatever reason, I don't actually mind doing this. This is somewhat relaxing, I guess. Not as much as, you know, harvesting is for me. Or, uh, forage harvesting, or just regular grain harvest. But, um, it's not half bad. It's not as frustrating as getting them inside of the, uh, wood chipper, in my opinion, anyways. Still somewhat a pain in the butt here, but, um, I don't know. Something about this just seems not half bad. Might recommend giving it a try. Or not, I mean, <laughs> whatever. It's something else to do, though. You know, that's what I like, just, just finding different stuff to do. I like finding a little new things in Farming Simulator to do, and this is one of them. Um, I doubt I'll be doing too much of it in the future, considering how it's been going this time around, but um, I don't know, I might reconsider eventually, if I get really bored or something, and need something to uh, occupy my active mind. <laughs> Alright. I say let's over to the next pile. Oh, this one's gonna be a pain in the butt because we're so far away. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's just take a look around here. Is there only. Yeah, there's only water here. Crap. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Do I want to put it in the water or not? I don't think I do. Let's just see how we get along pushing these down along the field. Might go a little smoother. We'll see though. I'm not going to put it with the other pile because that just 
will add extra time and it'll take quite a bit longer. And we definitely don't want that because my episodes take long enough as it is. Typically, anyways, I'm, I usually run over at least over half an hour, if not 40, 40 minutes. And I, I think I'm, I have not gotten to an hour actually. I think I've been close, but no cigar. Or if I have, it's only been because of the intro credits or whatever, or the intro. I guess they're not really credits. Yeah, this time it's going a little bit smoother. We had a nice tidy pile just to easily push along. That's gonna suck, like if I miss some and I come in to uh, plant the field and I end up running over some and I have to come back with this blade here, and this uh, pusher. I have to do that. Fun crap. Oh, that would just not be fun. I wanted to get that. Oh, there's another one here. Let's get that while we're seeing it. Kill two birds with one stone here, maybe. We'll see how it goes. And we're pushing one with leaves. Okay. Interesting. I guess I thought I got all of them, but I guess the leaves must have uh, faced through the ground after I cut this branch down. I might get that while we're here. So yeah, I did get rid of a lot of my mods. Um, some of them were heads-up display mods. Um, just that I usually tapped out of them anyway, so I was like, you know what, I don't want really to use these, so... Why did I get this? Oh, there we go. Just gotta find that right angle. Or the correct angle. To be more specific, it's not always necessarily a right angle. But yeah, when I said right, I meant correct. What is up with that flying branch there? That's weird looking. Kind of just floating along there. Alright. Maybe he'll fall over. No, he's weirdly like connected to something. That's weird. I'll try and get it. Mm, these are gonna go everywhere now. Oh boy. We'll just work on these two while we got them. Whilst we got them together, might as well try to push them. Man, if this was real life, we'd be seriously tearing up this field. Gosh dang, that would just be a nightmare. It looks kind of like there's high moisture. I'm just thinking about like uh, with the fog here. I imagine it'd be a little, a little bit of wet ground here. Somewhat, anyways. I'll try it like this, maybe. Not too bad. Lost one there. We'll get him though, eventually. When we come back. Okay, how many do we have left here? Do we have that weird messed up one. Just a couple of small things laying around is all. Nothing too terrible, I suppose. Okay, there's a little stump piece there. I was typically just taking those to the uh, stump grinder, but I don't know, I might push it. And it's that weird branch is floating there. I'm just moving around, doing its own thing, living its own life. It's a strong, independent woman, and it can do what it wants. Oh my. <laughs> Sorry about that. Just, yeah. Ignore my weird things I say, and did I just drive over that? That's because my stupid blade is not down. I did not put that down. <laughs> Whoopsies. Where did, where did that branch go? Maybe I already drove over it? I don't know. 
Hmm. Oh, maybe I hit it and it switched angles a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, you should remember to actually put your implement down. Or whatever you're whatever you're hauling and you need to use it. it typically helps if you lower it. And sometimes if it requires it to be turned on, you know, you want to do that too. I was having that problem uh, with the bee harvester, raising and lower it, lowering it at the end of the field. Like, uh, I'd get to the end and I'd remember to lift it almost every time, but then when I got back uh, starting up again on the next row, I would uh, forget to lower it. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know why, but it just seemed to work out that way. For whatever reason. And also, you know, I guess I didn't mention this, I am home right now for uh, the Easter holiday and just got some time to record. I won't be posting any videos, or I guess you will, will have already known this by now, but I'm not posting any videos over the little weekend here. Um, just because, you know, well for one, the upload speeds at my house aren't the best, so it would take all day to probably upload a couple episodes kind of a, annoying, but, you know, something I have to deal with. Whoa, 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 okay, there we go. Whoopsies. I suppose I might just stop it here for at least pushing. We can get some other stuff done, and then I'll do the rest of this pushing off camera. So we can get some variety in the episode. So it's not too completely boring. So let's go ahead, let's see, I need to sell this thing because we have, oh jeez, we have five minutes left on our, our rental here, so we'll go ahead and give that back to him. I don't know if I can just go ahead and, re okay, return vehicle, cool beans. Awesome. I love that mod. I love the rental mod. I'll probably be using that more in the future if there's something I need to do, but don't need to... If there's something I need to do once, I'll probably rent it, which is what I did this time around. I only... I should have rented that uh, thing right there, that stump shredder. And I need to... I need to replace that 1455 with a different tractor. Let's do a little window shopping right now. I did, like I said, I got rid of a lot of mods, so there's a little less to work with. Um, bu -bu -bu. Hmm. I feel like this is a little too big for what I want, but it is, I, I do like the mod. Yeah, I, I might actually consider getting a deer, get some variety in the series, and this actually has the exact same power. Hmm. I might consider that one. Uh, oh, this one actually has a little more and is cheaper. And this is what I used on uh, the Smoky Mountains map. And we have some other miscellaneous stuff there. New Hollands, it looks like, yep. Uh, I haven't used this much at all. I might consider actually getting this, even though these are cheaper. Hmm. And, yep. Both of these, I'd probably get the one with the uh, front attachment rather than the loader because we already have a loader um, tractor. I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt to have two. I don't know. I'll think about it, though. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just keeping that in mind, I guess. Oh, we got the sun coming up. Making for uh, pretty lighting against our truck here. And man, I kind of want to buy that uh, 388p. Use that on the farm. Replace one. Of, I think I'll replace that white one instead of this blue one because I want to. I want to keep the, the one with the blue stripes. I kind of like it. It was just a quick. This was a quick little uh, texture change. Didn't take me long at all. Same with the uh, 388. Didn't take me too terribly long. Maybe I'd say an hour tops. Like I think that's even a stretch for how long it took me. It's not too complicated. I guess just it was figuring out the placement because I couldn't quite get the t 
texture to quite work out in Blender, which was what I was using to line it up and on other mods so I could actually see what I was doing rather than just uh, going in blind and not knowing where I'm putting these textures at. But what I ended up doing, because I wasn't working, I was just uh, I was saving them without closing paint.net, so I saved them, then immediately reloaded the textures in Giants Editor and saw if it was right, and then I went back, and it was if it wasn't right in Giants, then I would, uh, you know, control Z in um, paint.net, so undo it and uh, adjust it accordingly, and that actually worked out pretty good. So yeah, we got quite a bit of chips to sell if uh, the time comes when we get a great demand for it. I'm probably not going to sell it otherwise. Otherwise, I should probably sell some grain here soon. Actually, t earlier I took some screenshots with 388 and posted that on uh, Open Source FS. Of I had it hooked up to the. Wait, what am I doing? Okay, I do want to take this trailer back to uh, the main farm. I was doing some pictures with the Corn Husker trailer and uh, was doing some photo shoots of that loading up some corn and hauling it down the road. Actually, I don't think I uploaded any hauling photos. I just had some loading images and just sitting around. I did have one hauling picture, though. But mind you, I got another cab to take it. So, yeah. I think they turned out really good. I'm quite happy with them. Let's see if I can't back this in here without any problems. <laughs> okay, I'll probably use my keyboard for this. Oh, this is going to be a joy. Because we already have two trailers in there. Okay, I might use a combination of the wheel. Actually, I'll just, yeah, use the wheel. Get a little more, uh... Oh, there's a squeak. <laughs> A little more control over it because sometimes you get better control with the keyboard sometimes I get better control with the steering wheel it just depends on what I'm doing so for this I kind of feel more comfortable using the wheel I guess but like if I if there's something that I really need to like look around like move the mouse around then I'll use the keyboard like if I'm using the front loader I'll use the keyboard and mouse Whoa, I wanted to switch to forward there. Let's actually get out and look on either side here. Are we how are we doing? Okay, let's let's back her up a little more. Or maybe it's the other trailers that are at an odd angle. I don't know. Okay, cool. So, oh jeez, I just totally rammed into that. Okay, I'll deal with that later, though. I'll probably reset it. I did not mean to do that. Whoop. Stuff like that happens, though. Um, ma, 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 ma. What was I going to do here? I was going to reset that, wasn't I? I'm in the wrong screen for that. Let's go to information. And it's going to be under implements and tool, or tools and trailers, I guess they call it. Uh, where, oh, where would it be? This wasn't it. It was the seed trailer, I think. Should have been. Come on, where are you at? What the heck? Where is it? Oh, maybe it was the. Maybe it was that one then. I thought I had the seed one, but I didn't see it. Huh. That's odd. I swear I had the seed trailer. That's weird. Okay, well, I guess it's this one we're resetting. 
Let's just double check out there. Huh. For whatever reason, I didn't uh, buy the seed trailer. Not that I necessarily need it. I think that's why I didn't do it, because I didn't exactly need it for sure. Um. Okay, what are we doing now? I might mess around with the front loader, moving some of these. Heck, I think in the next episode I might haul some grain. I'll just check up on the prices, because I don't want to be selling, you know, for crappy price, obviously. Okay, so we have two grabbed there. I think this will be a lot easier than just pushing them, that's for sure. <clears throat> Man, sorry I'm hacking away here. Uh, I don't mean to annoy you or anything. Actually, let's go to this smaller pile. Somewhat smaller pile, I guess. that are laying around here. For starters, I think I can just roll this guy. Or push him. Kind of get that into a somewhat neater pile, I suppose. Make it look uh, prettier. I didn't just say that. Actually, I did. I do want it to look pretty. It's nice when things look pretty. Oh, okay, cool. We have it in there. Sweet. Just a little bitty one here, isn't it? She a little bitty one. Pardon my uh, horrible accent attempt there. But, you know, I try. I used to do a pretty mean one. Like, I don't know. I thought it was pretty good. Everybody else thought so, but maybe they're just being nice. I don't know. I'm I'm not even gonna try to attempt it right now. I I was that weird child that did voices, like I did cartoon characters and and whatnot. I'm not saying that I'm proud of it, but uh, uh, it kept me entertained sometimes if I got really bored. Surely I'm not the only weird child out there. Or was a weird, weird child. I like to think I'm not. I, maybe it's just, I don't know, my family, because my cousins can be weird. And, I don't know, my sister can be a little bit, I guess. I don't know. I guess if you if you watch different shows on TV or whatever, you can you can find some strange characters, so... Either I'm their inspiration, or there are other lunatics out there. I sure hope there's others. <laughs> I am, I am the last one. No, that'd be, that'd be scary. A little bit, anyways. Okay. I wonder how this is going to work out when we when it comes harvest time and I need to, uh... Actually, I guess I don't need to necessarily take the semi out here during harvest. I could leave it in a different area. Perhaps. I don't know. This keyboard is just not in the best spot at all. Actually, next episode, along with, uh... Hauling some grain in for some moolah, um... I think we could uh, break out a plow. I have to, of course, I will have to buy one because I don't have one at the moment. And we can tear up this uh, these grass spots. Or heck, um, let's take a look here. Uh, I don't think I have enough horsepower for that though. Um, no, that takes 500. I do not have 500 horsepower. So yeah, that would definitely take a Steiger or a 
big four-wheel drive tractor, deer new hauling, whatever your preference is. I would probably, I'd probably end up doing a Steiger. As you can uh, tell by the uh, uh, colors we're running right now. <laughs> Obviously, I have my preference. But like I said, I, I'm considering getting those deers for a replacement for that 1455 we were running and have sitting on cinders right now. <laughs> Invisible cinders, I guess. I think that's just the funniest thing ever. Yeah, that's actually happened to me before um, when I started trying to figure out the wheels, the wheel setup for 2015, like they have it uh, dynamically loaded. And when I was trying to figure that out, half the time I was messing around with it, I ended up with uh, no wheels when I booted up the game. I'm just like, what the heck is going on? Did I, did I break the game? No, you didn't break the game. You just didn't type something in right or you didn't put the right, right crap in or something. But I eventually got to figure it out, as you can tell by the magnum over there that I messed around with. Now, like I said before, not in this episode, but I know I've said it before, I did attempt at making a road track. Now, the one I have here, that's that's not uh, one of my creations. I can't remember the modder's name, but you know, I I've, I've definitely heard of the guy. He's got some cool stuff, and um, heck. I, I think he's a part of Big Boss modding. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, shoot, I don't. I don't know where else I would have seen seen the name. I don't even remember what I was just talking about right there. Uh, what mod was I? I was referring to a mod. What mod was it? Oh yeah, it was the road track. Um, yeah, I was saying I was attempting to do that, and no matter what, I could not get the tracks to show up. I do not know what the bloody deal was. Actually, you know, I think I might have just thought a solution. The solution, I don't know how to like say it, but um, I think I just thought of something I did wrong. Not that I need to even worry about it anymore because we have a great one to work with here. But you know, at the same time, like I like, I kind of like the idea of doing stuff on my own. You know, making my own little edits or mods. Or, custom stuff and let's move this little stumpy piece here if we can even grab that without any issues hell heck it might just uh yeah I was thinking it might oh no we somehow have that <laughs> that's awesome love it when the dumb stuff works because that should not work I tell you what that is too weird Oh, and there she goes. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there for now and circle back and get what was left. So I thought I saw... Yep, there's a couple ones there. Uh, wait, nope, we have just two there. I can barely see them. Dang, chop straw mod. <laughs> for, for once, the one time I say that. Otherwise, yeah, I do I do quite enjoy the chop straw mod. Adds that extra little little depth. Realism. What the heck? Okay, that's that's cool, bruh. That's cool. Oh, of course, then you just fell out there. Guess I didn't have it gripped tight enough. Cause it's a little little guy right here. Grab it, all right, or what, what's going to happen this time around? Can't go any tighter than that, I guess. So it appears. Okay. Now we'll try to grab two and see how badly that messes up. Of course, I only grabbed one there. Take it in slow, maybe. Nah, come on. I want to get both of them. I will not settle for less. Ah, oh my gosh, this is this is more uh, wood cutting frustration here. I think in the last episode I did end up rage quitting basically just because. Okay, we're only taking one, I guess. 
is I was having such a hard time with that dang wood chipper. God, I hate that thing so much. And I'm not the only one. I saw people just... I... I mm. Okay, I'm just gonna go and say it. People were bitching about it. Uh, and I would agree. It's, it's a pain in the butt. Yeah, uh, pardon my friends. I do try to keep it clean here. But it was... Mm. Yeah, off camera, I was still messing with that thing. And it was... It was infuriating, but I had to get it done because we needed to get those bigger pieces out of the way and get some wood chips in. I guess we didn't necessarily have to, but like I really, I, I guess I did at the same time. Like I, I did want some wood chips to be able to sell those. Yeah, I wanted to make some money off of this endeavor because Lord knows we, we need it, especially right now. Oh, wow, can I just not grab this piece? Is that what it is? You gonna be that way? God, you're just like your father. Actually, it's father being the rest of the tree, being the big part of the tree was a lot easier to do. I'll tell you what. But no, still, you're just like your father. Wow, I just cannot grab this. You know what? Screw it. We're gonna, we're gonna try to push that into the water somehow. That'll probably be even harder than trying to grab that. I don't know. Ah, it's it's just not going to work out for us, is it? This is going to be the worst part of my day. And I had to make a four-hour trip. That wasn't fun, that's for sure. Yeah, like I said, I'm, I'm back home right now, so I had the three, three-and-a-half-hour trip. Oh, oh, yep, that's... Oh! The tree faced through there. That's awesome. Okay, that's good to know. Huh! Well, I'm not gonna like push the rest of them in there or anything. But, um, heck, we're running 42 minutes and 25 seconds mark <laughs> right now. Um, so I say let's just call it good for the episode. When we pick up, I'll have all these, all the rest of these little guys all moved over, and uh, we'll break out a plow and tear up this grass. I'd say that sounds like a fun time to me. So we'll be playing around in some dirt. Oops, okay, maybe I want to do it like that. There we go. But, um, yeah, play around some dirt, if, depending on how long that takes. It shouldn't take too terribly long. Um, what the heck? But yeah, after that... If we do have time. Uh, we'll be taking out uh, one of the Peterbilts and the course, uh, the course husker, the corn husker, uh, hopper, and be uh, taking that out to the uh, highest bidder, I guess you could say, um, whichever place has the highest prices. Otherwise, yeah, I'm not going to be waiting around for a great demand for some of the grain we have. I guess, like, okay, for what we're going to be growing a lot of, I'm not going to wait for a great demand, but, um, otherwise, if it's something I only have in my bins that will only be grown once, I'll wait for a great demand just cause, so we get the max out of that little bit. I mean, that makes sense to my mind, doing it like that. Obviously, I should wait for a great demand for everything, but, yeah, I'm not, I'm not just going to sit around for that, so... Anyways, that's what we're going to be looking forward to in the next episode. So, um, for now, thank you guys for watching. Um, as always, you know, I do appreciate it. And also for all of those of you that have recently subscribed and those that have uh, been with me for a while now, um, thank you very much. It's definitely appreciated. I love seeing those numbers rise when I log into YouTube. Um, definitely makes all this just that much better makes it feel like I'm somewhat entertaining I hope I am obviously you know I like I say I still try to improve um, I still have a lot more I could I could work towards improving um, but uh, if you haven't already uh, hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed what you saw 
Um, so then you will be updated on the latest channel videos and any updates that may occur. Uh, sometimes I will post announcements on the latest YouTube video like uh, I did for my Easter break recess or I guess that's te technically right now but by the time you watch this it will be already said and done but uh, yeah I'll, if there's anything like I won't be uploading or something I'll be posting on the video so uh, if there's anything you want to say just leave that in the comments I'll try to get back as quickly as possible so once again Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.